Yeah. Oh, I'm still murmuring. Maybe we need to turn it down like, a little bit. Yeah. Because I was just murmuring okay. that hot. It gets a little noisy out there. Oh, okay. Okay. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Sorry for the main. I mean, I just want to. And Jeremy just pumped in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's freaking hot. Yeah. What? Okay. Okay. I will do just this one, this slide. This one. This one. This one. Are you going to yeah. yeah. this computer too? This one? Are you going to use that computer too? Just one. Just me. Just and one. another. Just another. Yeah. Another. But it's not that main content. Right? Yeah, yeah. Just for the opening second. Because, I don't know, do you need to be able to see it while you're doing it? Do you need to use the mic up there? Or you could sit here and do it. Oh. Oh, that. Let's see. Yeah. 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 Y
under circumstances, it's the seventh time. Normally it would only be six, but uh, I've enjoyed it, and this is actually kind of a very enjoyable piece of this, of introducing uh, a whole other community into SIGGRAPH and, and talking to them about what's happening. 私は、私がプレゼンテントとして参加するシグラフの最後のセッションになります。So far so good? Yeah. 始まったばかりですが、とても楽しく、ここまで来れていると思っています。So I think this year you're going to find a lot of, a lot of interesting things.、Uh, Jeremy, I think sitting here is probably going to be telling you about something about an emerging tech. I think the experience hall you're going to find really exciting this year. It's really,、uh, they've, the things they've combined with the VR, the、uh, VR theater, and a number of the other pieces are really going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to going to see it myself. これからジャーミーからもあの説明があると思いますが、えっと、E-Tech、そして VR ビレッジなど、あのエクスペメンスホールではとてもあの、貴重な体験ができることになっているのでとても楽しみにしております。The other pieces you'll see that they've spent a lot of time this year on the conference doing, trying to improve the experience, breakfast, coffee during technical breaks, other kinds of things you'll be seeing around the hall,、um, greeters, there's some activities that happen、uh, at different points throughout the conference, contests, a lot of things. They're really trying to up、uh, Basically, participation and, and make it a much more、um, uh, uh, fun time for you to experience the conference and enjoy your time while you're here. 朝食やコーヒーブレーカー、休憩,休憩の間に、えー、と皆さんとコミュニケーションをとって、もっとあの他,の他の部門でも皆さんと,、えー、とコミュニケーションを取れるといいと思っています。It's a,、uh, it's a pleasure again, like I say, to, to have the folks from Japan here. I've had the opportunity、uh, to go to Tokyo and participate in some of the DCAJ activities and things of that sort. And I think you're going to find this is really,、uh, you're going to see SIGGRAPH kind of more in the upswing.、Uh, there's a lot of activities happening within the organization looking at our stra five year strategy, trying to look at where we're going to go. We're going to be looking across the board at the whole structure of SIGGRAPH, what's happening. Tomorrow, I'll be talking a little bit about some of that strategy, what SIGGRAPH is looking at, where we're changing,、uh, trying to really going to be branching out、uh, more and reaching out to a lot of communities that haven't participated in the past with us. Tokyo に行く機会も私のありまして、GCAG さんのおかげでいろんなコミュニティを見ることができています。これからの5年後の SIGGRAPH の活動、SIGGRAPH がどこに向かっているのかというのをこれから考えていきたいと考えております。So, with that, I'd again like to welcome you all back here. I hope you have a very good time.、Uh, if you'd be happy, if you see me in a hallway or any place, please introduce yourself. I'd be happy to talk with you and see what you think about the conference and, and ideas and、uh, look forward to having a chat with you. So, thanks a lot for coming. これから続け、えっと、4日、5日後の c g r a も楽しんでください。えっと、私を見かけたら、えっと、どうぞ、はいと、あと、挨拶していただければと思います。ありがとうございます。Thank you. Hi everyone, welcome to SeaGraph 2017. My name is Monica and I am the subcommittee member for the VR Village. みなさん、SeaGraph 2017にようこそお越しくださいました。私は VR Village の委員の,の一人のモニカです。Um, hello, hello there in live stream.、Um, so, we have some really exciting things happening in VR. Have you guys ever, ex just a raise of hands, who has、uh, ever experienced VR or AR? VR, AR, or Tai Ken Sareta Kotoga, Ari Hito, Ari Hito, or Teo Agate Kurasai. Are it nice to go eat? We have a lot of really amazing technology. We have projection mapping that you can actually interact with and play. So, you grab like, little balls and actually throw, and it actually interacts. こと年はいろいろあのすごくエキサイティングなあのものが見れます。例えばプロジェクションマッピングであのインタラクションできる作品なども出ております。We also have、um, you have to check it out. It's、uh, you have a helmet that you put on and you actually control the game or with your mind. You don't use a controller. You actually just use your thoughts. あのこれはぜひ試した方がいいと思うんですけど、あのヘルメットをつけましてゲームであの心でなんかあの。
心であの操作するのがあるそうなのでぜひ体験してください。You can also pretend that you're a,、um, a wakeboarder. What b o a r d e r Wakeboarder? You know, like, Wa- like wake s u r f i n g Like in the, yeah, like surfing, but in snow. Snow?、Mm-hmm. Snowboarding? Something like that, yeah. なんかあの、スノーボーディングのようなそういうのもあるので、ぜひ体験してください。But then we also have the AR where you take a screen of the、uh, environment, it scans it and actually puts 3D objects and you can interact and play with them. Some of the other things are not the AR, but the AR is the screen that you can interact and interact and interact. And finally, we have the VR theater. It is 45 minute content of、um, experience and、uh, you get to sit and just be immersed by all these amazing technology and story. それからあの VR シアターといいまして45分間の,あのすごいあのエ,マあのエマーシブなものがありますのでそれも経験してください。All of this is already available. The doors are open at,、um, already at 1:30, so there's a huge line. Go ahead and check it out. It's amazing. You guys are going to be extremely impressed by what's out there. ですあのさっき1時半にもすでにこれは開きましたのでもうなんか列ができているらしいのでぜひあの皆さんも並んで経験されてください。Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here. And、um, どうもありがとうございます。ありがとうございました。あのさっきちょっとこう手振ってたのはあそこにカメラがありまして今日ストリーミングあの今ライブであのストリーミング生であのストリーミングしておりますのでなんか皆さんあのまた他のこと,ところにいる方も見れているのであのぜひまたそのことをあの皆さんと話し合っていただけるといいと思います。Hello everyone, my name is Nick a b e r l y and I am the 2018 Studio Chair. 2018年のスタジアのチェアになります、ニックと申します。今年のスタジアのチェアになります、スタジオは日常ではあの体験することができないあの、たくさんのテクノロジーを体験することができるエリアとなっております。フォトプリンターズとフォーマットプリンターズを持っていると思います。大きいものから小さいもののプリンターを用意しておりまして、写真をプリントできるものから T シャツをプリントすることができるものを用意しております。このように、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私た Um, we have numerous courses throughout the week where you can actually come and follow along on a computer and、uh, create the thing that the teacher is teaching about. And then we have a bunch of really fun projects that you can come and interact with using multiple different technologies. スタジオに来ていただいて、新しいテクノロジーを体験することはできます。We have a Zootrope project、um, for old school animation. We have a project where you can interact with light and sound. And then a magnetic levitation project where you can create a little figure and send it around a magnetic levitation track. いろいろ体験することができますが、その他でも回転のぞき絵、昔のアニメーションの処方や、えっと、インタラクティブで遊ぶことのできる光の砂のプロジェクションなどを用意しております。Lastly, on project, printer, uh, like, um, kind of wings or a, a fake arm. Um, and then we also have a kind of like a Mr. Potato Head contest where you create extensions for the little shady pixel character. And either one of those contests, you can win an Epson printer. エクステンションというものがあります。一つは自分の体のエクステンションを 3D プリンターや、えっと、紙などで作って、えっと
、えっと、展示するものや、えっと、デザインサ,サイバーボディエクステンションはトイストーリーのポ,デオポテトヘッドのような、えっと、3D でいろんなものを組み合わせて、えっと、一つの模型を作るようなコンテストも開催しております。Um, all of the information and the dates and times are in the app for SIGGRAPH 2017. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to stop and ask me, and I'll answer them the best I can. Any questions you have, please ask me to ask you to 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 ask me 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 to 今年の,あのエマージングテクノロジーの委員長のジェレミー・キネスキーです。ちょっとビデオをお見せ,お見せしたいと思います。スタンバイ SIGGRAPH 2017's Emerging Technologies Program presents exciting and innovative work in fields like robotics, human-computer interaction, haptics, virtual, and augmented reality. These technologies will profoundly impact the way we see, touch, and interact with the world for years to come. We look at some of the technology leading the way in VR, AR, and mixed reality, from locomotion to optics. We have several exhibits this year focusing on perception and what it's like to physically hold and interact with holograms. Using a variety of haptic devices, EMG, head mounted displays, and projections, companies and researchers from around our world are challenging how we interact with the virtual world. Be sure to attend Emerging Technologies this year in the Experience Hall at SIGGRAPH 2017 and experience the future. Great. I don't know if you want to, probably not translate. So,、um, We are located right between the VR Village and the studio in the Experience Hall. And so we have a variety of things like you've seen here、um, that sort of influence、uh, VR stuff, also stuff touching the studio with their、uh, cyborg self theme and things like that.、Um, I wanted to give you a little bit of. This video highlights just a few clips of the Emerging Technology Experience Hall, which is the VR Village and the studio. And the VR Village is the studio. And the VR Village is the studio. Um, so, I want to give you a couple of facts about our exhibit this year.、Um, we had 78 submissions this year, and 20 22 were、uh, accepted through our jury process. And out of those, 12 of them are from Jap oh, oh, sorry, Japanese. Sorry, 22, 12. 22 were accepted. 22 accepted. Yeah, and out of those 22, 12 of them were from Japanese universities. 22の中の12があの日本の,あの学校からのものです。Yeah, so we're、uh, very thankful for our、uh, connection with you guys. Also, we、um, have a great partnership with the DCAJ, the Digital Content Association of Japan. And we have、uh, several of their exhibits that were shown at the DC Expo last year, exhibiting here this year. あのこそれで分かるようにあの日本の皆さんには大変感謝しておりますでそれ,あのそれにあの応募のほかにもあの DCAJ とのコラボレーションで去年 DC エクスポであのから選ばれました作品もあのあの展示しております、yeah. so、ですのでぜひあのエ,マージェンシエマージングテクノロジーに来ていただいてもしジェレミーさんいたらあのちょっと声をかけていただければちょっとご説明してますのであのぜひ声をかけてくださいありがとうございましたちょっとあの話を少し変えまして、2018年来年のこともちょっとお話ししたいとご紹介したいと思います
でまず来年の2018年の,あのバンクーバーの,あの委員長の方をお呼びしてるんですがちょっといつ来るか分かんない状態なのでまず、えー、と夏のカンファレンスは置いておきましてその次の,あの冬の秋ですかシーグラフ冬,冬の,あの来年のだいぶ先なんですけど2018年の、えー、と後半のお話をちょっとさせていただきたいと思います。来年のスイアフアジアの話をしたと思います。えー、私は安城と言います。あのコンファレンスチェアをやる、えー、ことになっております。で、来年はあの東京でやりますので、えー、特に日本の方はあのたくさん参加してほしいんですが、今までにも日本でやったことありますね。あの横浜で2009年、で一昨年が神戸でした。それぞれいっぱい人が来てくださって、まあ、今我々がいるのはこのスイグラフ・アーチャーあースイグラプ201のジェロームがチェアで、えー、今年のあバンコクで行われるのがスイグラフ・アーチャーですが、えー、で今話に出たロイが来年のバンクーバーのチェアとで、えー、その後の冬ですね来年の12月に、えー、私がやるっていうことですなぜあのピカチュウモドキやるかというと私の今か、関わっている会社がポケモンの会社なんで、えー、つけたんですよ、ね、あ次が、その次がまた決まっていて、えー、翌年のスイガーハーチャーはオーストラリア・ブリスベンでやりますで、東京でやる場合のその会場ですけれども、東京国際フォーラムというところでして、まあ、東京のお住みの方はよくご存知と思いますけど、まあ、この色のついた部分、何か所かを使う予定、もう少し、えー、内容によっては増える予定はあります。まあ、一応東京国際フォーラムを使うんですが、えー、全部を使うほどあのではないですねそれでもあの巨大な会場なんで皆さんいろいろ楽しめると思います例えば、えー、これはエレクトロニックシアターをやるところになるとかそれから論文セッションをやるところとかコースをやるところまあ大体こんな感じの広さこれは展示をやるスペースの紹介ですねえー、その東京のインターナショナルフォーラムの外側の風景、まあ、2つの大きな建物があるのでその間の風景ですねそれから、まあ、この辺はあの日本の方にはあの当たり前のことというかご存じのことだと思いますが東京に行きますといろんなものが、えー、楽しめる場所にもなっているのでそういうことも、まあ、花,火あ花火もですね冬やってる場合あるんで。えー、バカになりませんねそういうことも考えられる、えー、非常にあのコンファレンス自体と町自体で、えー、たくさんの人をお迎えできるものだと思っております、まあ、この辺は皆さん、えー、ニュースや NHK の番組でご覧になってるかもしれませんがで、えー、今回のテーマとして一応クロスオーバーという言葉を考えておりましてもちろんクロスオーバーというのは別に新しい言葉でも何でもなくて。えー、普通に使う言葉ですけど、えー、それをこの定例のというかレギュラーなアートギャラリーをはじめとするいろんなプログラムで、えー、その様子をお見せ,お見せしようとあのつまりいろんなものが交差しているという意味をですね文化だったり技術だったりアートギャラリーとイーテクだったりとかいろんなことを含めて考えていますそれからテクニカルブリーフそれから ARVR ショーケースみたいなものもいろんな新しいアイデアを今検討中でございますでスイグラフの今のところの情報はですね、えー、スイグラフ東京のサイトもあるんですが、えー、本日後でお配りすると思いますがあのしおりを作ってきましたのでそこにあの、えー、情報が書いてありますのでそこに随時アクセスしていただいて、えー、楽しみにしていただきたいと思っておりますぜひあの参加してくださいよろしくお願いしますはい。
uh, present in SIGGRAPH. So the first speaker will be Koji will be, uh, Yuki Koyama uh, from the uh, NICE. 続きましては小山由紀さんに創業技術総合研究所からのプレゼンテーションになります。ではここからあああではここからはちょっとあの今年えっ、ー、とカンファレンスに選ばれておりますじゃあ日本のあの。プレゼンターの皆さんからちょっと今回のプレゼンテーションのご紹介をしていただきます。でここからはあの皆さん英語で話すことになっておりますのでよろしくお願いいたします。And、uh, so, this is about、uh, sequential line search for efficient visual design optimization by crowds. So, this is、uh, kind of, yeah, this is very different from typical C graph papers, but、uh, yeah, it's very kind of strange paper because we use crowd sourcing to optimize visual designs, which is very different from typical graphics papers. So, yeah,、uh, our target problem is the parameter tweaking problems. Parameter tweaking tasks in visual designs. So, the mission here is to find the parameter combination that maximizes the visual quality of the designs. So, from the mathematical viewpoint, this parameter tweaking process can be interpreted as a continuous optimization problem. However,、uh, this optimization problem is very different from typical optimization problem because The objective function is based on human preference or human perception. So, we need a special treatment for this problem. So, to solve these special、uh, optimization problems,、uh, we take the human in the loop approach. So, hu human in the loop optimization. So, especially we follow the concept of crowd sourced human computation. So, in this concept, crowd workers are considered. As、uh, processing power, and they are asked to perform micro tasks in the manner of function calls. So, this paradigm enables systems to obtain human inputs in a systematic manner. All right, so, this shows the concept of our crowd powered optimizer. So, suppose that there is a crowd source button here, crowd source button in the design interface, and the user can push it. Then, Our system runs the uh, uh, crowd powered optimization. And finally, the user can obtain the optimal、uh, slider values without any other interaction. So, to enable this, we decompose the original high dimensional search task into a sequence of line search tasks. And line search tasks can be easily performed by non expert crowd workers. And after some iterations, the system finds The global optimal parameter combination. So that's the idea. To enable this function, we extended、uh, Bayesian optimization based on line search.、Uh, but here I would like to skip the details. So、uh, if you are interested in this uh, algorithm, uh, please come to the、uh, technical paper session.、All、right, so let me show some results. So first, we applied it to photo color enhancement applications. So, this shows the original input images, and this is the result. So, can you see the difference? So, let's see again. So, this is the original photograph, and this is the result. So, what do you think? Yeah, <laughs> maybe good. Yeah, anyway, yeah, our, our method can provide very high quality enhancement. All right, so next,、uh, we applied our technique to material appearance design. Or material BRDF design. So, yeah, these are the results. The top row is the input from the user, input image from the user, and bottom is the result. So, here the crowd workers were asked to、uh, manipulate a slider so that the material looks as similar to the one in the photograph as possible. Right? So, okay, so let me summarize. 
Uh, so in this work, we presented a concept of crowd-powered design optimi optimization. And to effectively implement this concept, we presented a new strategy, new optimization strategy called the sequential line search. And this is based on Bayesian optimization. And as application, we showed uh, photo enhancement and material appearance design. So yeah, that's all from me. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, uh, the next presenter is uh, uh, Hisanari Otsu. Uh, title is F Fusing State Space for Markov Chain Monte Carlo Rendering from University of Tokyo. Sugino present. Sugino uh, presentation is Tokyo Daigakara Otsan. Thank you for the introduction. I'm Isanai Otsu from the University of Tokyo. Uh, today I'll talk about the research on our group. We present the uh, industry graph. The title of the research is the Fusing State Space for Marco Chain Monte Carlo Rendering. Uh, we did this research with a group of the University of Tokyo and the NVIDIA and the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology. First, I introduce the concept of rendering. Rendering is a concept, a computation technique to generate the images from 3D model as input. 3D model consists of geometric information such as triangle meshes uh, and the material information associated with the, with the meshes. We can render the image by computing a transportation path uh, emitted from the light source, and the emitted light is reflected through the surface geometries and observed by the sensor of the camera. Eventually, we can get the uh, photorealistic image like this. Rendering images are formulated by numerical solving an uh, equation called the rendering equation. Most photorealistic rendering methods solve the equation with a uh, technique called Monte Carlo method. Rendering with Monte Carlo methods uh, generate a random light path connecting a light source and a sensor and estimate the energy contributed to a pixel on the sensor. Recent and advanced ap approach uses Markov chain Monte Carlo MCMC for generating light paths. In MCMC rendering, light paths are sequentially generated based on the kind light paths. For instance, a new light path can be generated uh, sequentially according to the current state of the light path. This process of changing the current state of the light path is called a mutation. And various advanced mutation techniques have been researched. The techniques are categorized into two groups according to how we define the path mathematically. The user can control various techniques according to the preference to the mutation techniques to a certain thing. However, due to the fundamental difference between the, uh, between the two state space, mutation strategy for one space, state space is not applicable to the other state space. For instance, the mutation strategies uh, called MEMUT, it's good at local exploration because the mutation technique in this, te in this strategy uh, can recreate the path efficiently. On the other hand, for instance, multiplex MLT, which uses mutation technique defined in primary sample space, is less efficient at local exploration because it needs to recreate the entire path in every mutation. Conversely, multiplex MLT is good at handling global exploration as it facilitates important sampling in MCMC. On the other hand, in this case, MEMLT is less efficient because the state in the past space is tend to be stuck in the local subspace. So, 
In short, there is a trade-off between two techniques. Let's look at the trade-off with actual rendered image. The red inset indicates the part of the scene uh, seen through the mirror model with a highly glossy material. This scene can be efficiently rendered by the primary sample space approach like MMLT than the path space approach like MMLT. However, for the diffuse surface, on the contrary, the path space approach is better than the primary sample space approach. In order to resolve this, thing, uh, this issue, we propose a new MCMC rendering framework to fuse to, uh, to define state space into one, which conce consequently re resolve this trade-off, meaning the rendered images show the similar tendency to the uh, better ones for, for each instance. If you are interested in, please come to see my talk uh, on Tuesday afternoon for more details. Thank you. Okay, so the next speaker is uh, uh, Wu. Uh, uh, he is from uh, Tokyo Institute of Technology. His paper title of uh, Interactive Relighting in Single low dynamic range uh, image. Next is Tokyo Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm So uh, the next presenter uh, is, uh, uh, the, who has a technical problem, he will do the next presentation. So the next presenter is uh, Charit Fernando from Keio University. So, okay. The next presenter is Keio University, Charles Fernandez. Yes. 
Hi, um, I'm Charit from uh, Keio University and uh, I would like to explain our project uh, Submerge Haptics which is uh, uh, exhibited in uh, Seagraph's uh, eTech. First, I think I would just show the video because uh, you will be you want to like experience it in the emerging technologies. So, what we are trying to do here is actually uh, using printed material to create like very small airbags because, as you know, like there's lots of uh, haptic devices using. Uh, airbags but those are like really big which cannot be fit into uh, like small places such as like uh, the finger tip. So we are using uh, normal acoustic pressure and translate it into the uh, air medium and transfer it to like small 3D printed uh, airbags and actuate uh, the airbags using a speaker. And uh, so with the similar technology what we can do is like we can achieve uh, different types of models the, so the creators can create their own 3D printed objects and embed the uh, haptics into it and actuate it so you can just create like lively models using this kind of technology. So uh, that's about it. So if you want to try the system please come join our uh, booth at Imaging Technologies. So the next presenter is uh, Wu from Tokyo Institute of Technology. I'm so sorry for the trouble in, uh, tech, in my computer. And I, my name is Rong Xuan Wu. And uh, today I would like to present, give a brief introduction of my paper, the interactive relighting in single low dynamic range images. And uh, uh, many fields may need to rely this thing in an image, and such as uh, entertainment, including films and games, photo editing, landscape design, and lighting demo. And however, in order to relight a scene, we need to know the camera, 3D geometry, and illumination configurations. And the most common way to up obtain those information is by hand. However, uh, manual, manual input is very time consuming and it is difficult for people without 3D artist skills. And in contrast, estimating them from a photograph would be a more efficient way. And the next problem is how much accuracy is necessary to relight the image. Surely, if physically correct scene is estimated, we definitely can realistically relight the scene. However, it is extremely difficult to achieve this. And on the other hand, if we only need to synthesize visually plausible re results, then it would be much more easier to achieve. Therefore, we aim to estimate the camera, 3D geometry, and illumination configurations and in, uh, from an image in order to synthesize plausible related results. And in order to achieve this, we surveyed um, much related work and found that most of our previous work required directional light source and spatial devices, pre-knowledge of 3D geometries, multiple input images, or user inputs, where our method only needs uh, a small amount of user input and single input image, and none of the above is needed. In the meantime, 
most of the previous work cannot relate the image with only one input image, while our method can relate the image as shown in here. Given this input image, we can relate this light source uh, as shown here. You can move the light source as in a 3D editing tool. And another Im input image, we can move the light source around and change the direction of the light source, as you can see in this video. And our method can also be, can, can be applied to uh, a large indoor scene like this. And uh, our method also do some experiments to estimate, evaluate our the performance of our method, including the estimation accuracy, and we found that uh, our method is more uh, can pre can produce more visually plausible result than previous work. And uh, sorry that is because there's there's no time for explains those experiments in very detail. So I just give a very rough look. And also the algorithm, I will not uh, explain my algorithm today. So please come to my presentation to see to know more about my algorithm and the evaluation experiments. And I will just show you this result, giving the input image, and you can edit, the, you can move the light like here, and create the relit result, and change the lighting direction like this. And another Im image, and we can change the lighting on the ground. And also we can change the beam angle of the light source. And we can add some more light source like this. And our method can also be applied to the light spot in the daytime scene in the shadow like this one. And thank you for your attention. So uh, the next presenter will be uh, Yoichi Ochai from University of Tsukuba. Second presentation is Tsukuba University of Ochai Yoichi Oh, sorry. Glad to hear you and uh, so thank you for coming. And uh, I'm Yoichi Ochai from the University of Tsukuba. And uh, I'd like to introduce our, our, uh, the project from our laboratory that named the Digital Nature Group. And uh, we, are, we are the Digital Nature Group from the University of Tsukuba. It is my own laboratory. And uh, also our technical interest is... Uh, oh, oops. Oh? Sorry for the bad connection. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, our technical interest is wave engineering and also digital publication and also metamaterials kind of that. And uh, in current years, we are focusing on how to combine with the holograms, also digital publications, and also VR things. And uh, in recent three years, I'm really favorite in how to combine with the digital publication things. And uh, in this year, we'll Sorry for that. Mm -hmm. I think this not this much? side. <laughs> yes, okay. So we have nine projects in the ten publication in the studio and the poster. So let me introduce as a Nick preview. And uh, in the studio, uh, you can play with our 
new research with a uh, superconductive levitation. Uh, in this project, we are focusing on the how to stabilize and also the how to digitally, fabri digitally fabricate the uh, levitated object with the superconductive materials. Oops. In which side? Okay. Oh, it's got it. And uh, the pro there is two problems. One is the stabilization, and uh, also the second is uh, uh, su to generate a superconductive levitation, it is really hard to keep the low temperature with, uh, uh, di with uh, digitally fabricated materials. Also, you can, you can play and also you can uh, fabricate in our booth with the Lego blocks. Oops. Uh, we have no connection. Yeah. I'll show you what's happening. Okay. is so nice. <laughs> Official adapter. Yeah. Mm, looks nice. <laughs> and also, please come and visit our booth in the studio. So you can fabricate with uh, superconductive materials. Also, the material is, is uh, simulated with a heat transmission program, so you can handle with your bare, bare hands, and also you can play with that. And also, one project is uh, more research on the like ethnographic things, like uh, how to record or how to play with uh, dance motion or our our body motion, and also how to record or how to fabricate with the 3D printing, uh, printing things. So we show the uh, zootropes or we show the, we show the tangible interface to, uh, to record or, or to archive the dance motions there. And also the, we have the poster and other sessions, and uh, let me have uh, several sneak previews. And this is kind of the, uh, fabrication to control the underwater object with uh, 3D printing object. And uh, we fabricated the digital manipulation in the underwater object with uh, water pressures. So you can, you can see in the poster booth. And also the digital fabrication with, to add the haptic feedback or tangible feedback to other uh, digitally fabricated materials like uh, wood or leather was this kind of analytic issues. And also the, here is a haptic project uh, which is combined with a acoustic pressure and also the air cannons. It is a kind of the air vortex. And so it can generate the different resolution haptic feedback in the air by the March model and also the March profile. And also the, we present uh, like a self, uh, uh, Self-driving the tele uh, wheelchair with combined with the tape present systems in the post sessions, and and also also this one is uh, optimized Hetman display for the underwater. The problem is uh, to throw the optimization in the underwater to use the HMD. Uh, so please come and visit his poster. And this one is uh, uh, this one is a uh, um, new projection system, which is uh, prevents uh, uh, spy camera or uh, to secret photography by small cameras. Uh, it is a uh, it is a typical problem to uh, secret photography in the movie theater or the contents provide for the contents providers. And also the this one is uh, 
this presented in the poster and the student research competitions. And also, the problem is uh, how to share the virtual reality experience with uh, others. It is uh, combined with uh, virtual reality goggles and also the most of you know the cave system that is a kind of the system to immerse experience with the uh, is a five worlds and also projecting systems. So it is a kind of a system to share the virtual reality experience. So thank you for listening. And also the uh, me and my students is located in the several uh, several sessions and also the several places in the Seagrass 17. So thank you so much. Okay, so the uh, next presenter is Tomoya Sasaki from uh, Keio University. Hello, I'm Tomoya uh, Sasaki from Keio University. Uh, I uh, will uh, just showing my uh, video uh, uh, ETEC program. Okay, so this is uh, MetaAIMS. So its project uh, provides a novel interaction. So uh, in daily life, uh, people can uh, handle by your arm, your hand, but sometimes uh, it's, uh, okay, sorry. So in this project, uh, uh, we can add additional arms. So it is controlled, uh, manipulated by uh, own, uh, own leg and foot. So we use a robotic arm and uh, tracking device. Uh, so this is optical um, marker. Uh, we use to track the uh, position of uh, leg. <coughs> so the position is uh, calculated by the markers. And so a finger of a foot is detected by a bending sensor. So it's <coughs> controlled by a robot, robotic hand. It's controlled robotic hand. And <coughs> also we will provide haptic sensation by a belt. And you can, uh, you can use um, uh, in standing position sometimes. And this is option. Uh, now, uh, today, you can't uh, try this one, but it's available. And so in <coughs> e-tech, uh, emerging technology, in emerging technology, you can try uh, actual, uh, actually so to uh, robotic motion interaction. So please try, uh, please try our project. Thank you. OK, so that's for uh, the se this session. Oh, thank you so much for the attendance. Uh, thank you so much for the uh, really appreciate for this session. So many attendees that come. So I hope uh, we can uh, see you next year. JPJP session, showcase session, you. Thank you.